So, so first off, you know, talk about how your your sort of journey into into composing, into into music in general. Well, it's funny. We had a question about that on the panel. Today. It was like someone got up and said, like, what was the, the first thing as a child that made you, you know? And I haven't thought about that question for a long time, but I used to answer it all the time. And it was John Williams. It was Star Wars. It was like my dad took me to a screening of Star Wars. It was. It must have been a rerun or something. And he um he came out and he said, what did you think of the film? And I was like, oh yeah, it's great. I was seven or something. It's like, what did you film? It's like, what did you think of the music? And I was like it's amazing he goes well you could do that one day and I was like maybe like just planted the idea in my head or something it was weird <laughs> so was your dad uh, a musician no he's a mathematician oh wow oh. <laughs> it's just I think I had started because I had just joined the school band or something like I was starting to get into music and he's like you could do that it's like sure so so was that kind of from that point on did you always well no because then I forgot about it of course because you know and then I go do other things and I started composing and you know all that. and then basically I did a very formal like music degree and then at the end of it I was like well I know how to compose but I kind of want to do something else with it and then film school and then I met all these amazing filmmakers and that was it that's amazing. So, yeah. Um, so, so when it comes to composing, um, you know, is there a certain genre that you really lean towards, or? I, well, I do love what I did. You know, well, I was talking about the panel, which is the cabinet of curiosities. Yeah. I do love dark, sci-fi, weird. You know, I, I, I tend to think of myself as like, if there's ever dark drama or dark comedy, if it has the word dark in it. Yeah. <laughs> that's my wheelhouse. Yeah. Well, speaking of speaking of a cabinet of curiosities, um, you know, how do you balance the the themes and the, the different episodes since they are so so different? You know, well, that was a strange thing because while we were working on it, we didn't have any contact with the other filmmaking teams, mm. and so I did ask that question, like how you know, and and the answer was like it'll all just come together, and it did. That's the thing. Like there is a theme that got written for the whole series, right? But but in turn, like which is for the opening titles music, but the but the actual episodes, it was sort of we were sort of relying on I think Guillermo to guide the styling of each one so they really did I mean I was surprised they were like at the end of it like all these eight diverse stories felt really uniform you know did you work closely with Guillermo to, to really figure out no I mean no I worked with Keith who is the director who I right. who I've worked with on the vigil and he was um I was mostly me and him and then and then you know I remember at one point we, we played it to you know Guillermo and his team and they were like yeah great great that's awesome. Um, so, do you have full episodes when you're when you're doing the composing, or, or do you... yeah, but they're changing all the time mm. because they they spend a lot of time like the structure of the episode changed dramatically. I think we recorded uh, the strings and everything like in February, and we were still working on it in July. Oh, wow. So we had all these recordings done, and then like all the structure of the things kept changing and moving around, and but getting better all the time. And so it was that was a new experience for me. Yeah. So. Um, do you do you find that that you're asked sometimes to like create um, compose for a character versus the theme of an episode? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So for because our episode is called Pikmin's Model, and so mm -hmm. Pikmin actually has the theme, you know. And so um, and I I was like I never write character themes, you know. I was like I'm not writing character themes, and I ended up. Like, oh, I think this guy needs a character thing because every time he, he comes on, like something creepy happens. So yeah, yeah it just like it's funny because I found myself doing that. Yeah. So. Um, for you, what's sort of the, the holy grail of, of, uh, of film composing? Well, well, this one comes pretty close. Yeah. Like I said, like Creative Freedom, Guillermo del Toro's Vision, Keith Thomas directing. Like this is pretty close to my like perfect kind of project. But you know, I've, I've worked on so many amazing things. Like you know, Blind Spotting was another one, the Tax Collector. There's just been so many great projects that, that like anything that surprises me. Put it that way. Like something that I haven't done before. That's my nirvana. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. When you're when you're leaning into the dark, do you do you like think about like different chords, or do you think about like the, the actual theme, or, or do you like lean on on other things you you've seen before? The strange thing, I'm sorry, the secret thing is it comes very naturally. Yeah, <laughs> the dark stuff. I don't know. I have this deep well of darkness or something. It just kind of bubbles up, and like when I'm writing, I'm like, this is actually too easy. This is, it's not hard for me to be dark. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Um, if you weren't composing for, for film and TV, what do you think you'd be doing? Oh my goodness. Um, I might be a baker. Ah. <laughs> I just I only say that because it's like, you know, I'm gluten intolerant, so we, I, I make bread for my family and they seem to like it. So I'm like, I can do this. It's like composing, right? Yeah. Like you're baking stuff, you're putting stuff together. Yeah, and, and you can make dark cupcakes. <laughs> like, you know. That's right. You can make like gothic, you right. know, gothic designs. You can sell them here. Absolutely. It'd be great. Um, well, thank you so much. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you.